unplugged coding activities, students can develop computational thinking skills through concepts such as algorithms, testing, and debugging without using computers or other devices. So unplugged activities help students to understand the basics of coding without even touching a digital device. The only thing you need is creativity and imagination. So let's get started. In this video, we will discover the unplugged activity maze. In the maze game, in the Scratch interface, the aim is to move a sprite from the start of the maze to the end without touching the walls. In this unplugged activity, it is the learner who moves through the maze without touching the walls. So what do you need for this activity? An 8x8 eight eight grid mat on the ground. This could be drawn with the chalk on the concrete, big enough for people to stand in each square on the flooring with the built-in grid patterns such as uh, square tiles or masking tape, painter's tape or ropes on the suitable surface. Cards or obstacles such as stones, branches to mark the maze, something to write down the code. This could be cards, chalk, paint and paper. So how does this work? Step one, the facilitator of the game makes the maze by putting some obstacles in the grid. Then divide the learners into two groups. Every group chooses one robot. Others are developers. The robots can move to the starting point of the maze. Step two, then the developers write down an algorithm for the robot to move through the maze. An algorithm means a sequence of instructions. They can use following commands, forward, turn left, turn right. The developer team decides what symbols they will use to write the instructions. This means they decide on the programming language. Examples of programming language are narrow, forward, turn left, right, or letters such as F for forward, L for turning left, and so many others. In our example, we will use arrows pointed on the cards. If you do not have cards, you can write down the code with chalks or on the ground or pen on the paper. So step three, one team start reading the command to the robot. In coding language, this means running the program. A key point in this activity is the instructions are all written before they are tested. We don't allow anyone to give additional instructions to the robot. They must follow exactly what is written. This is what happens when programming. You write instructions for a program and when you, you run the program, they all execute without programmer intervening. A programmer needs to picture in their mind what would happen when they are writing the instructions. During testing, they will find out if what they pictured was correct. So step four, if the robot makes a mistake, the developer say, Ella, Ella, and the other team takes the turn. Meanwhile, team one gets time to debug their code. Debugging means finding a mistake and improving the code. It's normal for a computer programs to need debugging. A bug is simply when it doesn't do what was intended. If the developer team is ready with the debugging and has a new algorithm ready, they can try it again. Whoever gets to the other side of the maze first wins the game. After a while, you can add multiple levels of the game. You can do this by making the maze more difficult by adding more objects like balls, stones, leaves. Pick up some of the objects that leads to extra points or make you return to the start. You can also expand the commands with, uh, for instance, jump over. Creating a sequence of instructions or algorithms that a computer or a robot can follow is an important skill in programming. Like all skills, programming is something you learn through practice by making mistakes and learning from them.
In this unplugged activity, we also learned about decomposition. This is splitting up a problem going from one side of the grid to the other side in two smaller steps that are achievable to solve. Another important skill that a programmer needs is to collaborate with others, especially when they are making out what the program should do. They also need to be persistent when finding and fixing bugs. Bugs happen all the time in programming, so being able to identify where the bug occurs and how to fix it is incredibly important. So have fun exploring unplugged coding. <laughs>